Welcome back to the Best Priced Funerals video blog. Today we will be discussing the embalming chemicals used in funerals. Is it an environmental controversy? Embalming is a common practice in funerals, particularly in the United States and Canada. It involves the use of chemicals to preserve the body of the deceased, slowing down the decomposition process and making the body suitable for public display. However, this practice has sparked controversy due to its potential environmental impact. What is the embalming process and the chemicals used in it? The most common embalming fluid contains a mixture of formaldehyde, glutaraldehyde, methanol, and other solvents. Formaldehyde is the main ingredient, making up about 37% of the fluid. It is a known carcinogen and can cause health problems for funeral workers and people who come into contact with it. Glutaraldehyde is also a toxic chemical that can cause skin irritation and respiratory problems. The other solvents in the embalming fluid can also be harmful to the environment. Some pros of embalming. Embalming can help to delay the decomposition of the body, which can give families more time to plan a funeral and make arrangements. It can also make the body look more presentable for viewing. In some cases, embalming may be required by law, such as when a body is going to be transported across state lines. Some cons of embalming. Embalming is a costly process, adding an average of $700 to the cost of a funeral. It can also be harmful to the environment. Formaldehyde and other chemicals in embalming fluid can pollute groundwater and soil. Embalming is not always necessary. In many cases, a body can be preserved with less harmful methods, such as refrigeration or dry ice. The fact that formaldehyde is a known carcinogen. What is some of the environmental impact of embalming? Using this process is of a major concern. When a body is embalmed and buried, the formaldehyde in the embalming fluid can seep into the groundwater and soil. This can contaminate drinking water and harm plants and animals. Formaldehyde can also enter the air, where it can cause respiratory problems and other health problems. What are some alternatives to embalming? There are a number of alternatives to embalming that are less harmful to the environment. These include Direct cremation. This involves cremating the body without any embalming. Direct cremation is the most environmentally friendly option. Direct involves cremating the body without any embalming. Cremation is a relatively simple process that does not produce any harmful emissions. Green burial. This involves burying the body in a natural setting without embalming or a metal casket. The body is typically buried in a shallow grave, which allows it to decompose naturally. Green burials are becoming increasingly popular as people become more aware of the environmental impact of traditional burials. Water burial. This involves submerging the body in a body of water, such as the ocean or a lake. Water burials are a traditional practice in many cultures, and they are becoming increasingly popular as an environmentally friendly alternative to traditional burials. Natural alternatives to embalming. There are a number of natural alternatives to embalming that use plant-based chemicals or other non-toxic substances. These alternatives can help to preserve the body without the harmful chemicals used in traditional embalming. Some examples of natural alternatives to embalming include using a mixture of herbs and spices to inhibit bacteria growth, using a saline solution to preserve the body's moisture or using a cold storage unit to slow down decomposition. The best alternative to embalming will vary depending on the individual's preferences and beliefs. However, all of the options discussed are less harmful to the environment than traditional embalming. Here are some additional points to consider when choosing an alternative to embalming. Cost. The cost of embalming can vary depending on the location and the funeral home. The cost of natural alternatives to embalming is typically lower than the cost of traditional embalming. Legal requirements. In some cases, embalming may be required by law. For example, embalming may be required if the body is going to be transported across state lines. Personal preferences. Some people may prefer to have their loved one embalmed, even if it is not required by law. Others may prefer to choose a more natural option. It is important to talk to your funeral director about the different alternatives to embalming and to choose the option that is best for you and your loved one. In conclusion, embalming is a common practice in funerals, but it has a number of environmental and health concerns. 
There are a number of alternatives to embalming that are less harmful to the environment. As people become more aware of these issues, it is likely that the use of embalming will decline in the future. The fact is that embalming can be harmful to the environment even if the body is not buried, as the chemicals can leach into the air and soil during the embalming process. The fact that there are a number of alternatives to embalming that are less harmful to the environment. I hope this is helpful. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more informative topics.